what's the connection between heavy metal and quantum physics? You might think that, well, heavy metal is usually seem to be not the most cerebral of musical forms, not the most um, uh, conceptually challenging, whereas quantum physics is seen to be very conceptually challenging. You might think those two things are absolutely pulled apart, but actually there are deep and fundamental links because heavy metal, like any other form of music, and yes, heavy metal is a form of music, for those of you who might think otherwise, um, it's all about sound waves. It's about how sound waves are created, how they interact, and when we play a musical instrument, let me turn this up again just for a second, the wave vibrates back and forth, there are oscillations that creates waves, and those waves in this case are converted to even bigger, more louder waves by using this amplifier. But quantum physics is also fundamentally a theory of waves. Once we get down to the atomic molecular single particle level, matter behaves as if it's got wave-like characteristics, which is one of the mind-blowing things about quantum that we still, physicists, even after a century or so, still haven't got their heads around. So I spent the last year and a half or so working on, on this book, which has been a real labour of love, a lot of, a lot of fun writing this, and or working with this guy Pete McPartland in terms of the illustrations. And what we do in that book is, is look at the, those links between quantum physics and physics in general and heavy metal from a range of different perspectives ranging from the uncertainty principle, the, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle has very deep links with, with quantum mechanics, all the way up to, for example, the um, behavior of people in, of moshers in mosh pits and the uh, crowd dynamics, and remarkably that links into a whole area of physics called statistical mechanics. So there are many, many deep and important and fundamental links between quantum physics and heavy metal. So who's going to read this book? So I would hope that both metal fans with an interest in physics and physics fans uh, with an interest in heavy metal would, would like to read this book. But I hope it's, I've written it in as, as general a style as possible. So I hope, as, as Philip Ball says on the back, you don't need to be a metalhead to like this book. But we warn that if you do like this book, you'll probably find yourself more of a metalhead by the end than you were at the start. So that, that would be good. So if it brings people into heavy metal and they see heavy metal in a different light, wonderful. If it brings people who are into music but think that maybe quantum physics isn't for them, if it gives them a different insight into quantum physics via music, that's wonderful, that's what I'd love.